welcome back to my channel. Today we will continue discuss VIP questions chapter 5, Work Energy and Power. Okay, so for questions number 1, an object of mass 2 kg travels along a horizontal floor under the actions of force. So the above diagram shows the graph F against the displacement. The speed of the object when S equals to 0 is 2 meter per second. So meaning that this is our initial velocity equals to 2 meter per second. Determine the speed of the object when S is at 7 meter. Okay, so we want to find V final. Okay, so from here we know that area under graph F versus X is actually the work done. Okay, so we can use work energy theorem to find the final velocity. Okay, so we can use work energy theorem where work done is equal to change of kinetic energy. Okay, so here we have two parts, parts A and also parts B. Okay, so we can find the work done for part A plus work done for part B is equal to half NV square minus half MU square. Okay, so work done for part A. Okay, this is for part A where it is area under graph. So this is actually a trapezium. So the work done area under graph is equal to half times 5 plus this is 3 minus 1, so it's 2. And the force is equal to 6. The work done for part A is equal to 21 Joule. Okay, so for part B here, part B is actually a triangle. So work done to find part B is equal to half. So this is 2 times the height is negative 2. Eh? So if let's say negative 2 also we must substitute negative 2. Okay, so 2 and 2 we cancel each other. Therefore, for part B, the work done is negative 2 joule. So we substitute here 21 plus negative 2 joule equals to half. M is equals to 2 kg. Okay, so V square is the value that we want to find minus U. Eh? U initially is 2 squared. Okay, so 2 and 2 we can cancel. So 19 equals to V square minus 4. So V square will equal to 19 plus 4. Therefore, V we will get square root 23 or is equal to 4.8 meter per second. Okay, so the answer here is equal to C for questions number 1. Okay, next we go to questions number 2. A figure shows that 10 kg block, okay, being pulled by 100 Newton force with the initial velocity. Okay, so we know that M is equal to 10, force is equal to 100, and the initial velocity is 2 meter per second, up an inclined plane. Eh? The block travel at a distance of 5 meter, meaning that the displacement is 5 meter, parallel to the inclined plane. The coefficients of kinetic friction is equal to 0 0.4, so mu is equal to 0 0.14. So by using the work energy theorem, calculate the change in the kinetic energy of the block. So we want to find delta K, we want to find the changes. Okay, from work energy theorem, work is equal to change of kinetic energy, where work is equal to F net times the displacement equal to change of kinetic energy. Okay, so we need to find F net first. Okay, now we need to draw out the free body diagram. Okay, so free body diagram for F net is... Okay, so this is our F external... Here we have a normal force, here we have a frictional force and also mg. Okay, so we can resolve mg into x and y component where here mg is equal to, because here is 25, so it's mg cos 25. And also we can resolve mg into x component where it's equal to mg sine 25. Okay, so this is the motion is going upward. Okay, so fx, that force for x component is F external minus frictional force minus mg sine 25. Okay, where F external given just now is equal to 100 minus friction. Uh, frictions we don't have, but we know that frictional force is equal to F is equal to mu n. Okay, so we must find n first uh, by using y component. Okay, so later we can find. So minus friction minus mg where m is equal to 10 times 9.81 sine 25. Okay, so this is the equations from x component. Okay, next we go to y component where we want to find n, the normal force. Okay, so y component is equal to 0. Therefore, y component is normal force minus mg cos 25 is equal to 0. So therefore, the normal force is actually equal to mg cos 25. Okay, so you substitute the value, you will get 88.91 Newton. 
Okay, so you substitute here, mu is equal to 0 0.14 and the normal force is 88.19. So the frictional force, we will get 12.45 Newton. Okay, so we substitute frictional force into the equation where F net is equal to 100 minus 12.45 minus 10 times 9.81 sine 25 degree. Okay, so the net force for X component is equal to 46.09 Newton. Okay, so we substitute back to find the change of kinetic energy where F net is equal to 46.09 and the distance travel here is equal to 5 meter. Okay, so therefore, delta K is equal to 230.45 Joule. Okay, so this is the change of kinetic energy. The answer is A. Okay, next one we will go to questions number four. An object of the mass 2 kg is placed 20 cm directly above the top end of the vertical spring as shown. The spring constant is 2000. Determine the maximum compression. Okay, so for example, let's say when this object falling down and it compresses until the maximum compression. Let's say this is x maximum. Okay, so we know that uh, this is uh, questions related to conservations of energy. Okay, so for example, the initial point is point A, the final point when you compress is point B. So we know that the total energy at point A must equal to the total energy at point B yeah, because conservations of energy. So for point A, we must find out what is the energy involved. Okay, so you must write K initial plus U initial equals to K final plus U final. So initially when the block is at point A, the object is stationary okay so we don't have kinetic energy so we only have mgh when it comes to point b when it is fully compressed there's also no kinetic energy because it must stop at the maximum point and at that moment we don't have mgh because this is the reference point okay so mgh is already zero but we have the elastic uh, potential energy where it's equal to half kx squared okay so we need to find the value for x so we substitute the value where m is equal to 2 times 9.81 h. Okay, h is from the reference point here. So h is actually 20 cm 0 0.2 plus x maximum. And it's equal to half k is 2000 x squared. Okay, so we will get 1000 x squared minus 19.62 x minus 3.924 equals to 0. Okay, so if you press calculator, we will get x is equal to 0 0.073 meter. Okay, so the answer here is equal to C. Question number 5. Figure shows the block held at the rest at the top of 60 meter long rough slope with the coefficients of kinetic friction 0 0.18. The height of the box on the slope is 10 meter. When released, the block slides down. Calculate the final speed of the block at the bottom of the slope. Okay, so for this type of questions, we have two methods to solve it. The first one, we can use the work energy theorem or the second one, we can use conservations of energy. Okay, so I will show you the first step where we use work done equals to change of kinetic energy. Okay, so work done is equal to F net times the distance travel equals to half m v square minus u square. Okay, so you must find what is the value for F net first. So we need to draw the free body diagram. So based on this diagram, here we have mg, we have the normal force, and also we have the frictional force. Huh? So since the object is slide down, so the frictional force is opposite. Huh? Okay, so it will adding upward. So resolve mg, mg we will get mg cos theta and also mg sine theta. For x component, the net force for x component is equal to mg sine theta minus friction. So we substitute into the equations where mg is equal to m we don't know, g is 9.81. And the angle here, we know that we can use sine theta equals to 10 over 16. So the theta is equal to 38 point. 68 degree okay so the angle here is 38.68 degree so we substitute into the equations sine 38.68 degree minus the frictional force so we know that frictional force is equal to mu n so n we must find from y component where fy equals to zero the normal force minus mg cos theta is equal to zero therefore normal force is mg cos theta so we substitute into the equations where f net is equal to m g sine theta minus mg cos theta 
times mu uh, where mu is equal to 0 0.18 okay so we substitute into the equations where f net is mg sine 38.68 degree minus mg cos 38.68 degree times the coefficient 0 0.18 and s is equal to 16 meter and equals to half m v square minus u square okay so m m and m we can cancel off so therefore we will get the answer here is equal to v equals to 12.33 meter per second okay so the answer is a okay, the next step is we can use conservations of energy where here we label it a and here we label it b so we know that conservations of energy Total energy at point A must equal to the total energy at point B where we can write K initial plus U initial equals to K final plus U final. So initially, there's no kinetic energy. Okay, we only have MGH. And here, because there's a friction, so we need to plus huh, the work done to overcome the friction. Okay, so we must plus frictional force times the distance cos 180 degree. Okay, and when you reach B, the kinetic energy is half and V square. And at that moment, there is no more potential energy because already reached the bottom. Okay, so we can substitute MGH plus. The frictional force is equal to, just now we already found the frictional force is mu N, where mu is 0 0.18. N is equal to Mg cos theta. And then times the distance travel. Okay, cos 180 is actually negative 1. So it's equal to half n v squared. Okay, so m, m, and n you can cancel. Finally, 9.81 h is equal to 10 minus 0 0.18 g is 9.81 cos 38.68 degree times the distance travel 16 is equal to half v squared. Okay, so our v similar you will get 12.33 meter per second. Okay, so you will get the same answer. Okay, next question is a 220 kg motorcycle accelerate uniformly from the rest. So u equals to 0 and v equals to 30 meter per second in 6 seconds. Calculate the instantaneous power. So we know that instantaneous power is equal to fv. Okay, so f is equal to ma and v we must find what is the value v when t equals to 4 seconds. Okay, so from here, we know that when t equals to 0, u is equal to 0. When t equals to 6 seconds, v is equal to 30 meter per second. But we want to find the velocity when t is equal to 4 seconds. Okay, so we need to find the acceleration first because we know that along this journey, acceleration is constant. Okay, so we find uh, the acceleration first where we use uh, t equals to 0 until t equals to 6 seconds, v equals to u plus a t, where V at 6 seconds is 30, U is 0, accelerations times T is 6 seconds. So we know that accelerations is actually equal to 5 meter per second squared. Okay, so now we want to find what is the velocity when T equals to 4 seconds. So again, V equals to U plus 80. V is the value that we want to find, U is equal to 0, acceleration is 5 because it's constant. And T at that moment, we only want to find the velocity when T equals to 4 seconds. So we know that V when T equals to 4 seconds is equal to 20 meter per second. Okay, so we substitute into the equations where m is 220, a is equal to 5, and when t equals to 4 seconds, the velocity is equal to 20 meter per second. Okay, so if we press calculator, we will get answer is equal to 222 kilowatt. Okay, so the answer is B. Okay, so that's all for this chapter. See you on next video. We will discuss on VIP questions chapter 6. Okay, see you. Bye.